My name is John Brindley. I'm 66 years old, and I live in Indianola, Mississippi. Small Delta, Mississippi town. There were just times, particularly certain days, when I would feel very lethargic. I would just feel like to walk down the hall was a really major ordeal. And I had gotten to the point to where I just didn't do steps at all anymore. And the walking got from just being tiring to being really almost impossible at times. I would walk as far as I could and I'd find the closest place to sit. When he first started having symptoms, he would say things like, I can't stand up, my, my leg's gone to sleep. He'd start hitting the side of his leg or he'd stomp and I mean, he wouldn't be standing up for five minutes. John, who had normally been a very active person, became pained. Just walking just seemed like it was labor and it, would just, and it just hurt. It was really hard to see for a man who had been so active and so busy. And it was, um, it was really hard to see. I missed many days of work, Sundays, one Sunday morning I got feeling so bad that they had to carry me out, help me out through the congregation and take me home because I just couldn't function. The unknown of not knowing what you have is a terrible feeling. And I remember being a rather emotional person anyway, my, coming back to the room that night and telling my wife and we both cried for a while because I had a name for what I had and I knew what it was and that makes a big difference. To know and to know that there are treatments for it made a big difference too. When something's not right, you know it better than anybody. And you need to go and get it checked out. I just thought Dr. Bennett sounded like a good name. So I, you know, I said, well, let's, let's do Bennett. He said, I think that's a good choice. He's a good one. He had long suffered from leg pain. He had always written it off that he had rheumatoid arthritis and just thought that was the way it was gonna be. Um, when he finally um, was diagnosed with peripheral arterial disease and came to me, he was um, fairly limited in what he could do. He was very interested in any kind of option of anything that might make his legs better, and uh, we gave him that option almost immediately with the uh, Ocelot catheter. He said, with this, I have a camera, and I have a, a way to see what I'm doing. And I said, well, it sounds to me like that's a whole lot better. Anything that will give me the best results and give me the best opportunity to get my lifestyle back, he said, I'm all for it. Let's go. My first thoughts were it was an excellent case for the ocelot because he had a huge collateral coming right off at the proximal cap. And I thought that if we could keep the catheter at the cap and if we could get through the proximal cap, I was very optimistic that we could get a good result because we could actually direct it towards the cap um, and feel comfortable where we were by seeing the imaging um, and actually being able to see the collateral coming off and making sure we stayed away from it. The catheter went straight into the proximal cap. We worked through that fairly easily. As we went more distal, we did have some calcium noted on fluoroscopy, but we had no trouble getting through those areas and we popped right back in the, through the distal cap and really no, uh, no major complications along the way. In the past, fluoroscopically, we would think we were going right in the, the great direction and be way off when we got to the reentry point. Um, now with the imaging, I think that really seals the deal. I mean, it's, it's kind of amazing when you think you're off fluoroscopically, you look at the imaging and you're actually still right in the middle of the vessel. The people that we talk to are walking around hurting and they really don't know why they're hurting. And I love that we are fixing to surprise them and tell them we can fix you. And they're always surprised. John was suffering for years and years from this disease and um, he is just absolutely thrilled to have had something done that's helping him walk now. Oh, for the longest time. Uh, Bennett came in the room, you know, and I asked, he said, do you feel any different? And he said, if you don't, I'm in trouble. And I said, yes, I could immediately feel, even laying in the bed still, I hadn't even gotten up out of the bed. I mean, I'd lift up my leg. It was, the way I explained it to him, it was like I'd lost 20 pounds in that leg. The energy of that leg was so much more powerful. It just feels better. It feels stronger, you know? When I walked around the hospital that day, I didn't feel any of that feeling that I get when I get tired. I haven't felt that lethargical feeling since. All of a sudden, I just noticed he was had a little more jaunt to his walk and didn't wear him out to walk. I was hearing all this high-fiving and congratulating, and they were really having a wonderful time, so evidently they thought it went really well. 
<laughs> I think his long-term outlook's excellent. Um, he's exercising more than he ever has. Now he's walking uh, every day, and I think that his prognosis has improved because of that. And it just went real smooth. I just, it was kind of nice to have a day off. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.